The market is in turmoil, but let's check in now with Alan Nuckman. He's the chief market strategist at St. Paul Research. You always have such optimism, Alan. What can you tell us today? Hello, Angie. We're seeing a stock slide ride for now, but we've got plenty of time for a macro turn. How are your trades coming along? All right, took profits, 100% gain in Nugget last week. So you saw that gold pop and it was a nice profit there. Uh, other positions, the minimum we have is March. So we can look further out in time, wait to see how this market responds here. April, we've got some natural gas. Uh, looking out in June, we're looking to see if LVS on the second half and AT&T, uh, the second half of those positions, and also Fox A can get to that 100% target. So we've been selling into strength, and that's the key. We'll see if we can get the stocks to surge one more time. Tell us about your new trade, Alan. All right, this week's trade trigger, it's a commodity comeback climb play. We're looking at Freeport MacMoran. Now, this is a stock that is 800% off its COVID lows, and it's 30% off its 2008 top when copper made its high. It's also cheap from a PE standpoint, sitting at the 14 level. Now, the stock's been sideways, what I look for, uh, seeing some accumulation of some insiders and then trading sideways between 35 and 45 for one full year. So a breakout here targets 55 on the upside. The midpoint support of this range, 45 to 55, uh, 35 to 45, is the 40 level. So what I'm leaning on is 40, looking at the June 40 call, again, plenty of time, four months of time there. The June 40 call uh, is trading for around six or so. And if we do reach that technical target of 55 uh, in the breakout of this range, then this option will look to about double. We can't wait to hear your trading day takeaways. Let's talk trading takeaways. Trading takeaway number one, half back. The S&P rebound that we saw at the beginning of February, which was very positive, uh, gave, got back half of the losses from 2022, but stalled at that 4,500 level. So right now, we've seen a secondary sell-off, and now we've given back those gains in full. Number two, lower lows. The S&P broke through that 4250 support, which was the January bottom, and also the halfway point. If you look big picture, January of 2021 to January 22 highs, that halfway level from 3700 to 4800 was 4250. So that's important to keep an eye on on a weekly basis. And number three, fear falling. That is a positive. It's hard to find some positives, but I'm digging this one out. The VIX here around 31 is much lower than that January uh, low in the S&P when the VIX was around 39. So we, if we see a sentiment shift, then we could see stocks shoot higher. Always good to have you here. Thank you very much for all of your trades, Alan. Thank you. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.